Hello, Sudoku friends, and good morning, and welcome to the 5th of March, 2024, and today's edition of the New York Times Hat Sudoku Puzzle, for which we can enter a one here, because these two ones block across like so, and this one blocks up here. So a quick first find here. We have two sixes blocking here, 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 and here, and we have this six and this six blocking across. So we must enter a six here. You see the one, five, six, nine here? We happen to need four digits for these four squares. So they must be a one, five, six, and a nine, and that means that these three must be a two, four, and an eight. We have two blocking across here. So a two must go here, and these must be a four and an eight, and these, therefore, a seven and a three. Can we do anything with that? No, I don't think so. They'll have to wait. About four and eight blocking down here, and four and eight blocking across here. So we are restricted to these three cells for fours and eights. That's not very helpful. One, five, seven, nine, seven, nine block here. This is a one, five, one, five block here. This is a seven, nine. One, we know must go either here or here. And therefore, or either here or here. Maybe something to be aware of for a little later. Four and eight can go here. And as we noticed before, they can also go here and here. And here. The plot thickens. But I'm not quite ready yet. So we got a one and a three here. We got a one and a three here. It's clear now that these two must be a one and a three. And therefore, a two will have to go in one of these squares and therefore in one of these two. I'm becoming increasingly aware of some ramifications of this five and this five, because we have a five now here or here. We have a five blocking down here, so we know that one of these must be a five. But that's not the ramifications I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about something going on in this shoot here. Because if one of these must be a five, and we have a one and a three here, it follows that one of these must be a five. So we have got fives blocking here, 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 and here, and that gives us a five for this square here. So now that we know that one of these must be a five, and we have a five blocking here and five blocking here, one of these must be a five. Where now can we place a five in column five? Not here and not here and also not here. And earlier, we figured out that one of these two squares has got to be a one because this one blocks here and here. So now we know that this is a one. And these, therefore, must be a seven and a nine. So back to the possible fives in these two squares. This five now forces the five to go here. Now that we found this one, we know that this must be a three and this must be a one. And now we have threes here or here. Here we'll be looking for a six, eight, and one more, a two. So a six blocks across here. One of these is a six. Now we are going to have a six either here or here. And since the two blocks here, we know that one of these is a two, 
and this therefore a 6 or an 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. Let's see, we have a 1 blocking here, we have a 1 blocking here, we have a 1 blocking here, so clearly this must be a 1. Now we have a 1, 5 here, we have a 1, 5 here, these two squares must be a 1 and a 5, and these therefore a 6 and a 9. We already established that one of these must be a 6, therefore the 9 must go here, and the 6 must go here. Now we have a 3, 9 here, and we have a 3, 9 here, forcing a 3 and 9 into these two squares. Therefore, these two must be a 2 and a 7, and an 8 and a 4 here. The 2, of course, blocks up here, so a 3 and a 9 here, what's missing? The 7, which now forces a 7 here. We know that these are 7 and 9, the 7 blocks over, 9 here, 7 here, and therefore here. Now the 7 and a 5 and the 7 and a 5 must accompany each other here. That makes these a 6 and an 8. 6 blocks over here, so here's the 8, and here's the 6. Now we know that these must be a 2 and an 8. We also have 8s here or here. So I think that we'll have to wait just a little while longer while we look at these two. They must be a 4 and a 9. 9 blocks over, 4 here, 9 here, and here a 4, which blocks down. This 4 blocks over, a 4 also must go here. And now we know that this is a 4 and this is an 8. And therefore we have an 8 here and we have a 2 here and here. 3, 9. Therefore, a 7 here. Are we any closer to anything up here? I wonder. A 3, 4, and an 8. 4 blocks here, 4 blocks here. So here's a 4. 3 and 8 for these two squares. 3 blocks up, 8 here, 3 here. And therefore, a 3 here. Now we have a 3 here and a 9 here. And. What else? What's missing up here? A 5 and an 8. Hmm. They will continue to be missing for a little while longer, I think. What's going on here? A 3, 4 and a 6. 3 and 6 block over. Here's a 4. 3 blocks over. Here's a 6. And here's a 3. 6 blocks over. 6 blocks over, 6 blocks down, and down, we have ourselves a 6 here, and therefore a 9 here. This 9 blocks across, this 9 blocks down, a 9 here. We should be able to figure out what this is. It must be an 8. And these are 5 and a 1. We also have 5s here, and a 9 is missing, the 9 blocks here, the 9 blocks here, so here is a 5, and here is a 9, and here therefore is an 8. One more 8, you yeah, must go here or here, mustn't it? We need to find it first. 5, 7, 2, 4, 4 blocks over, 2 here, 4 here. Two blocks over and down, two here. Here are seven and an eight, the seven blocks. So here's the eight, here's the seven. And now we have a seven here and a five here, as per earlier analysis, and therefore a five here. This must be a one, giving me a one here as well. And here we're looking for a five or an eight. We have a five. Therefore, it must be an 8, and the 5 is doomed to go here. And that's it for today. Thank you for watching, and please come by again soon for more Sudoku. Bye for now.